No, please. Please, no. 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 Not like this. Not like this. Not this. Anything but this. Fear not, my people, for the King of Games is here. Now that we have dealt with those most vile specimen, allow me to introduce you to the most popular action RPGs of 2024. And just bear in mind that we are not referring to the isometric type, we are referring to the third person action RPGs. Number 10, another crab's treasure. 92.34% positive on Steam, with an all-time high of 4,700 players. This game definitely came out of nowhere and was a surprise hit. Who could have thought that playing as a crab dominating the bottom of the sea with nothing but a fork could be so fun? I certainly didn't, but this game changed my mind and deserves all the success it found. Number 9, Atlas, showing 94.71% positive on Steam, with an all-time high of 10,800 players. There are definitely games out there for everyone, and if you find yourself seeking out little pebbles in a box instead of a room and a toilet, and you spend most of your time covered head to toe in fur, then this game is for you. Number 8, God of War Ragnarok. 81.63% positive on Steam, and an all-time high of 35,600 players. If you are extremely bored of your basic lowly peasant life, and you've always dreamed of having more power than you could ever imagine, this game might be for you. You get to be a literal god and fight other gods. In that way, this game is the height of escapism. Number 7, Horizon Forbidden West. 87.83% positive on Steam, with an all-time high of 40,400 players. This game somehow takes you back to the age of dinosaurs, mammoths, and saber-toothed tigers all at once. But it's robots that are super high-tech. But you don't fight them with guns and advanced weaponry, oh no no no. You fight them with bows and spears. Very interesting dynamic. Number 6, Like a Dragon Infinite Wealth. 89.6% positive on Steam, with an all-time high of 46,100 players. This game feels like what Japanese people imagine Westerners think of Japanese people. And then the game is based in Hawaii, and everything there seems like what Japanese people imagine Hawaiians to live like. It's like all of these wild stereotypes brought to life all at once, but cranked up to a thousand percent. And it's amazing. Number 5, Ghost of Tsushima. 91.62% positive on Steam with an all-time high of 77,100 players. Playing a Japanese samurai in feudal Japan with all of Japan's epic natural beauty. No paved roads or skyscrapers. For anyone who's like me and loves Japan's history, traditional architecture, natural beauty, and their martial arts, this game is for you. Number 4, Metaphor Refantasio. 89.76% positive on Steam, with an all-time high of 85,900 players. This game takes political intrigue to the next level, all while being dark, gritty, and very, very anime. I mean, there are even anime cutscenes! This one is truly more of a hybrid, as it is also turn-based, but don't let that turn you away. The fantastic story, anime cutscenes, and gameplay make up for it entirely. Number 3, Grand Blue Fantasy Relink. 88.3% positive on Steam, with an all-time high of 114,000 players. Big flashy moves, everyone seems to have wings for some reason, and it's about as anime as a game can get. This game is the epitome of, I want to play a game that's like an anime, and it has dragons. Number 2, Enshrouded. 85.28% positive on Steam, with an all-time high of 160,000 players. You there, peasant, come here! Uh, yes, yes, sire. Is all of this really true? Survival crafting game, but it's also an adventure RPG? Two entirely new and massive biomes since launch? Cave systems, towers, forts, and dungeons to explore and clear of enemies and bosses? Plus, you get a glider? Is this all really true? Uh, y yes yes my lord. You even get pets now. 
And number one, Black Myth Wukong, 95.71% positive on Steam, with an all-time high of 2 million 400,000 players. So you're telling me that this game is based off of the same book, Journey to the West, that Goku is based off of in the Dragon Ball series. Do we need to say more? I will anyway. Over 10 million copies sold, Golden Joystick Game of the Year, four nominations at the Game Awards, including Game of the Year. This game absolutely deserves the number one spot. This now concludes the Kingdom's 10 Greatest Action RPGs of 2024. Thank you, peasants, for watching, and I will see you next time.